If you ever happen to take your brain out of your head and start picking at it, you'll notice that the brain comes apart like string cheese. It has preferred tear directions. These directions correspond to white matter tracts, large bundles of myelinated neurons oriented in the same direction. To analyze these tracts, we will be using the software package MRTRIX. It uses a spherical deconvolution approach to resolve the crossing fibers problem. In addition to advanced techniques, such as anatomically constrained tractography, to reconstruct tracts that are biologically plausible. The output from MRTRIX can also be combined with the parcellations generated by FreeSurfer in order to create what is called a connectome, representing the amount of connectivity for each node with every other node in the brain. To get started, we will first need to download the MRTRIX package. The MRTRIX download page, located here, contains download instructions for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux users. I'm using a Mac, so I'll click on the Macintosh link. All you need to do is copy the installation code, then open a terminal, and paste the code into the terminal, and press Enter. You may be prompted to enter your password. And once you've done that, you'll be asked whether you want to continue, select yes. This should only take a few moments to do. Once it is downloaded, open a terminal and type the following to test your installation, MRView. This opens the MRTRIX image viewer, and you can open any nifty file you want. It could be a functional image, anatomical image, or diffusion weighted image. In this case, I'm going to open a diffusion weighted image that I've already pre-processed. We'll talk more about the MR viewer in a later chapter, but for right now, play around with it and see the similarities between other image viewers of other software packages you've used. Try also typing one of the commands from the library, such as mrconvert, and press enter. If MRTRIX has been installed correctly, you should see the help page printed by default when no arguments are passed to the command. If both of these work without any errors, you are ready to begin downloading Diffusion data, which we turn to in the next video.